It's that time of year when many of us start thinking about trying to lose weight in the new year. 13 on your side health reporter Val Lego found one that goes a little deeper than reducing calories. In fact, you could say it's all in your genes. If you're anything like me, you've got ads galore on your social media. From clothing to skincare, food and shoes. And there are some you just can't resist. That's what happened to me when I stumbled upon the Genopalette diet. A diet based on your DNA. One quick glance through their website, and I was curious. Here's how it works. If you've already done a DNA test with 23andMe or Ancestry.com, you can upload yours for a reduced price. Otherwise, Dino Palette will send you a kit, but it will cost more. It takes about a week to get your results and analysis. Here's a look at mine. I like the simple breakdown of the foods I should eat and the explanations why they're best for me. But I really wanted to know what the experts thought. I probably took about a half hour looking through your results. Dr. Bupp is a geneticist with Spectrum Health. The idea behind what they did makes sense. So we are all genetically unique and there are differences in our genetic code that make us unique. But he was a bit skeptical. A lot of the results gave you like how much protein you should eat, like percentages. And then they compared it to like the normal population. There was a lot of overlap in you versus the population. So there wasn't a lot of places where you were distinctly different than what just the average person should do. Dr. Bupp found the foods recommended for my DNA interesting. What is in rabbit versus chicken versus chicken liver? His final verdict? This is giving us a little bit of information, but this isn't a game changer. I stuck to the diet for about a month before checking in with my physician for her opinion. It does reveal interesting facts. Dr. Kimberly Tomerlin looked at the diet from a nutritional aspect. I thought that aspect of the program was really interesting, that they give you a lot of alternatives to things. She was particularly interested in how they broke down vitamins and supplements. They suggested an increase of zinc and magnesium above what the general population would be. My Genopalette results also found I have a hard time absorbing vitamin B6, need less fiber than the average person, and that I might have a slight gluten intolerance, which I found surprising because it's not something I ever noticed. I don't know if you've thought about that too, their recommendation to start getting probiotics in your diet. Dr. Tomerlin only found one downside to the Genopalette diet. They didn't really break it down in terms of sex, being male versus female. As for my opinion, after sticking to the diet for about six weeks, I found I had more energy, slept better, and could focus for longer periods of time. And bonus, I lost about six pounds. So there just might be something to eating for your genes. <laughs> you know, I did find a downside, though, and that was um, that I had to run around to a lot of different stores to find all those unique foods, yeah. and that got to be a little bit of a pain. And Dr. Tomlin said, you know, you could really do the same thing. I mean, this di this diet costs between seventy and two hundred dollars, so you could do the same thing by just keeping a food journal. Really. So it really does seem like you can get your DNA tested for just about anything. Oh my gosh, so many things these days are becoming more and more prevalent, and that's why you have to be really careful. You have to make sure you read that fine print because once you take your DNA and you send it off, you don't know what happens to it, right? So you have to find out who owns your DNA, who can it be sold to, who can share it. Genopalette does give you the option to opt out of any of that sharing of your DNA, but then again, you know, you're trusting that your results won't be shared. And so, you know, there's pros and cons to, yeah. to doing that. Just something sure. to think about. That was yeah. really interesting. Thanks, Val.